Today we're going to be using the three read strategy again with word problems. Our learning target today is I can use the three read strategy to comprehend word problems. So we're going to be looking at word problems today and using our three read strategy again. Remember, we read a problem three times. On the first read, we want to know what is the situation about. On the second read, we're looking for what are the quantities. And on the third read, we're looking for what are the possible mathematical questions that we think could be asked in the problem. So let's look at a problem together. Now remember, today we are not actually going to solve the problem. We're just going to learn how to understand the problem or comprehend it. So we're looking for what the problem is asking us. So in our first read, we want to think about what is the situation about. So let's read the problem. Five apples were on the table. I ate some apples. Then there were three apples. Okay, so what is the situation about? We have apples on a table and some of them get eaten. So we start with a total and then they get removed. Okay, now I need to look at what are the quantities in the problem. And remember that word quantities means how many of each item. So in my problem, I'm going to read it again. Five apples were on the table. Well, I see a quantity there. I have five apples. So I'm going to write right here in this box, I have five apples on the table. I ate some apples. Hmm. I don't have a quantity there, but I have the word some. Then there were three apples. So there's a quantity, three apples. So that's how many are left. So I had five. I ate some. I'm just going to write ate some because some could be a quantity. And then I had three apples left. So if I think about this problem, what are the possible mathematical questions that could be asked in the question? Well, could it be how many apples did I eat? Because we want to find out this sum number. We want to figure out what is this number? Let's look at the question. Oh, well, there's the question. How many apples did I eat? So that is how we can work through a word problem and understand it. Let's look at one more today. Some bunnies were sitting on the grass. Three more bunnies hopped there. Then there were five bunnies. So the first on my first read, I'm looking at what is the situation about? So I have bunnies on the grass, and then more bunnies join. Okay, on the second read, I'm looking again for my quantity, so the number of items in the question. Some bunnies were sitting on the grass. Well, there's that word again, some. Some would represent a quantity, so I'm just going to write some on the grass. Three more bunnies hop there, so I have three more bunnies. So three more bunnies. Then there were five bunnies, so then we end up with five bunnies. So those are my quantities. I have some on the grass, three more bunnies hop there, and then I have five bunnies. 
So let's think about what could the question be asking. If I have three more, could this be a how many? Bunnies? Were on the grass before? Because we're looking, again, we're looking for that sum money, that sum word. So let's see what the question says. How many bunnies were on the grass before? Awesome. So now it is your turn. You can use the three read strategy to comprehend word problems. So now you're going to have a turn and make sure that if you have any questions, you ask your teacher, but you can also go back and watch this video and pause it whenever you need to.